just never understand, man. I preach it to them, preach to them, preach to them. I just never do pick it up or understand. You gotta keep your box moist. All right, folks, welcome back to the show once more. I want to thank you for coming back here again and keeping it here. In fact, I've been needing to say this, and uh, I might have touched on it a couple times. Before we start, I want to say thank you to the new subscribers. You guys are rocking and making waves in the water, man. And I want to say thanks to the old subscribers that have been here a while, and thanks to the very, very old ones that have been here for years. I was here back in my collaboration days. Those videos are still up. If anyone wants to watch them, I collaborated with everybody, everyone that I knew or could. Uh, we had a digital bits band that we played. Four of us guys got together. And uh, we made about four videos, I think, three or four. But anyways, thanks to you old subscribers, you new ones. And I want to say thank you to my patrons. Man, you guys all rock. And I appreciate your support here on YouTube. All right, get on with it, man. Stop blowing. Okay. Humidifying guitars. So many people do not just can't get it in their head, man. They just do not understand how to humidify an acoustic guitar or an electric one. Le uh, granted, electric ones don't need it like acoustics do, but some of them do. The ones that don't have any finish on the fretboard, the fretboard can dry out. Or if they got cracks, you know, in the finish where moisture can get in, those cracks usually grow and get bigger over time. But uh, we're talking mainly about acoustic guitars here because so many people, I read on Facebook all the time, people talking about humidifying their guitar and it didn't do anything. Or, you know, crack, you know, it didn't bring it back together or whatever. Folks, it takes a long time. Now, if, if you think about how long it took that guitar to get dried out, you're not going to stick a, a cup of water in it and humidify it overnight. You're not going to do it in a week. You know, it's probably taken uh, years, at least, at the very least, months to get in the condition it's in, as dry as it is, okay? So, it's going to take, you know, a long time to get it back up to proper humidity levels. I got a, a little bowl here with a cloth in it. It's dried out now, but just a plastic bowl with a cloth. I take that in and I get this sobbing wet, put it in the bowl. Of course, loosen the strings on the guitar, take them off, and ram it way back in here, okay? And then put something like this. This comes with a dampened uh, humidifier. Uh, I'll show you one of those, but I don't know where it is. Anyways, put something plastic over the hole, because you don't want you don't want to put cardboard there, because cardboard would absorb your humidification. You want as much. This is what people don't understand. You want as much humidification to be drawn into the wood. As you can get, not into a cardboard cover or whatever. Anyways, put that over the hole and leave that thing for two days. Come back and check this. Make sure it's still sobbing wet. If it's not, wet it again. Put it in there and wait two more days. I give me a five. This guitar right here dried out on me one time. I hate to say, man, a five thousand dollar guitar and I let it dry out, but it did. It happened, and I brought the humidification back up. It took me weeks to get it back up. What you got to do, people think, you know, they put that in there and leave it for overnight or two or three days or a week. Good deal. They stick one of these down the guitar, it reads 45 to 55 percent, and they call it good and they move on. That's not the way it works at all. You're completely missing it if that's the way you think. When you put this in your guitar and you cover the hole up with something that won't absorb moisture, humidity forms inside the box of your guitar and, and and that's what you're reading when you set this down in there okay you want to put that all in there and leave it alone and when that humidity forms it's going to keep soaking into that dry wood so soak into the top the back the sides everything in there is going to be absorbing water basically okay if you just do it like a couple of days and then you stick your hygrometer down in there you're going to just get the reading inside the box, not the moisture content of the wood. That is so important. Those words, the moisture content of the wood, that is what you want to measure. And it takes a couple of days just to measure that, to read it. So basically, you've got to humidify a guitar for 
well, like I say, put the thing in there, leave it two days, check it, make sure it's still wet, leave it two more days. After about a week, then remove this and take take the water out of it and just let the guitar set for a couple of days like this with nothing on it. And then put your hygrometer inside and put your plastic or non-absorbent cover over the hole. These are kind that come with dampen. You can slide them right under the strings. The strings help hold them on there. And even with that enlarged sound hole, they cover the whole thing very nicely. The dampens really thought that out well. It's a good product. Check it out. I'll put links down here if I can remember to do it. For those that don't know about it, I know a bunch of you older uh, subscribers do know about it. But anyways, take all that crap out, let it air out for a couple of days, and then put your hygrometer inside, put a cover over the hole, and leave that two, three, four days, and then read it. I always just leave mine in there and take a flashlight and shine down in there and set it, you know, where I can see it. And I'll just take a flashlight and shine down in there, and I can read it without even taking this off, but you can see through this, in case you didn't know. And doing it like that over a longer period of time allows that moisture to be absorbed by the wood. The moisture content of the wood, very important words, can be measured after, you know, a week, two weeks. I think it took me, I kept notes and I still have them. I should have brought them to make this video. I think, as well as I can remember, it took me seven weeks to get this guitar back up to proper humidification. Now the thing is, you want to be able to read when you take everything out and put this back in and you leave it two, three, four, five days. You want that to read between 45 and 55 percent all by itself and that's the true moisture content of the wood that you're reading this is a cheap way to do it they have instruments and gadgets to do it other ways but they're very expensive and i can't remember right off what they're called somebody i'm sure one of you all will remind me it measures moisture content in wood and, and it's a tool it's an instrument I, I can't think man but i'm sure as you guys will tell me what it is i'm absolutely positive of that <laughs> and i thank you for it uh but yeah you know Look at all the time it took that guitar to dry out like it did. And you know, you're not going to bring the humidification levels, the moisture content wood, uh, moisture content in the wood back up overnight or over three days or a week or whatever. You know, it's not going to happen. That's got to be absorbed slowly. And it, it is it absorbs slowly. If I can talk, I'll tell you the rest. Uh, but as you know, as you set that in there, set that in, cover the hole up. And as that moisture starts coming out all in the body, there's nowhere for it to go, nothing for it to do. It's like me on uh, many Saturday nights, <laughs> nowadays that I'm old. Uh, it's got any, no, the only place it can go is into the wood. This guitar probably, I don't know how much weight it gained, but it got heavy, man. I read it to a guy one time, we was playing in the Wolf Creek Band. He couldn't believe how light it was. Well, that's because it was so dried out. Uh, it, I don't know how much it gained. Maybe a pound or more than that. At least one pound, I know, because yeah, I, I could just feel the difference. Like You could tell it when you picked the guitar. If you knew what it you know, felt like before. Well, actually, it was lighter than any other acoustic guitars that I have or have picked up in a long time. Except for that old... Was that thing silver tone? I think arch top. I had to search the channel. We'll find it. It was dried completely out. It had done all that, kinds of damage to it. Now you got these guys that say, "Well, I've had a guitar for 50 years. I never humidified it, and nothing ever happened." Well, you've been lucky, man. You have kept the guitar in proper humidification levels all of the guitar's life, or most of it. If you've had one that long and never humidified it and never had any troubles, you've been very lucky. <laughs> I've showed you on this channel, you can search uh, humidification something, I forget what. It'll show that uh, Silvertone guitar and many others with lots of damage and so dry that, you know, I'd be afraid to even smoke a cigarette around them because they probably spontaneously combust. <laughs> but anyways, uh, that's a quick clip tip, kind of a long one for you, but uh, nevertheless, there it is. I hope that helps you to understand this better because you've got to let that wood soak that water up very slowly it takes a long time it's not going to do it overnight leave it in there let it soak it up and then air it out for two or three four five days even even a week would be okay 
then stick your hygrometer inside, cover the hole, and leave it another couple or three days. It takes that long to get an accurate reading. It's uh, humidity in this room right now as we speak is 63%. Now this guitar has been in the case, but I'm betting if I do that, it would still be w well humidified. I haven't humidified it for a long time, but getting ready to. Anyways, cheers. Thank you for watching. Thanks to the subscribers, all of you, every single one of you, and the patrons, every single one of you guys, man. Thank you for your support, and thanks for keeping it here, and I'll see you in a couple or three days. Oh, yes, check this out. I'll show you how long it's been since this guitar has been played. The strings is rusted on it, as are the frets. This is a, a Martin HD28 Dan Tominski model. It's from the custom shop, but listen to this, man. That's bad. That is bad. Holy shit, that's bad.